Hello, hi everybody, I am Thekla Betridou, a psychologist and an author, and today it's Friday, the 9th of October 2020, and this is our weekly video in English. In this video, I will try to answer the question that is posed to me by many people. Is my relationship finished? Is my marriage over? How can I know if there is no hope for my romantic relationship to be revived or my marriage? I'll start by saying that I have the opinion that once a marriage is dead or once a romantic relationship is dead, you cannot revive it. I know that this sounds harsh, this sounds very pessimistic, but this is my opinion based on my professional experience and on my readings and also my writings. Romantic relationships are very frail, very fragile. It's easy to break a romantic relationship. Let's start from the beginning, how a romantic relationship is formed and how people might proceed to go into cohabitation or even getting married. The initial uh, motivation for two people to be romantically involved is falling in love or having uh, a sexual attraction. We find each other attractive, we are drawn to each other, we start dating, we start having a relationship and we continue on that basis the basis of physical attraction, the basis of sexual connection. Uh, even though platonic relationships are so much appraised, <laughs> especially in uh, uh, not so modern literature, the, according to my opinion, the natural truth is that people begin from the basics, and the basics in the relationship is sex, sexual attraction and sexual relationship. The first sign that shows that your relationship might be over or finished is lack of sexual life. If the, pa if the pa partners do not have any sexual activity between them, because they might have with other people, for a long period of time, this is a strong indication that this relationship has finished. You might ask me, what if one of the two partners has a disease or goes through a rough patch or they have a difficulty, or they have even a sexual dysfunction, and they are not able to perform sexually. My answer would be that even couples that face uh, health issues or sexual dysfunction issues, they can still be intimate. Lack of intimacy between a couple shows that most probably the relationship is over. Either we like it or not. Most of the time, we try to tell ourselves that everything is okay, our marriage is okay, our relationship is okay, we started um, falling, by falling in love with each other, we started by uh, having uh, very strong emotions, very strong uh, um, uh, sexual contacts, uh, having pleasure with each other, and even though time has passed, even though we've been through rough patches, we will get there again even though we haven't had sex in one year, two years, three years. No, my dear, if you haven't been having sex or if you haven't been intimate with your partner for a long period of time, most probably your relationship or marriage is dead. The second sign is lack of communication. If the two people who are in, the, in, in a relationship, they stop talking to each other, they stop communicating with each other, this might be a strong indicator that the relationship is finished. What do I mean by communication? I do not mean talking about everyday matters. For example, could you, pre could you please buy some bread on your way from work? Could you please take uh, our daughter to her piano classes? Or did, what, what will we eat today? These uh, uh, things, tol talking about these things is not <laughs> communication is basic, basic stuff that we talk about. Communication is about sharing with your partner your most intimate thoughts, worries, emotions, what goes on with your life and what you, what I, what you are thinking right now, and especially what you are thinking about your relationship. 
If a couple being in a relationship or in a marriage are not able to talk about their relationship, they are not able to communicate their feelings about each other, they are not able to communicate their worries about their relationship, they are not able to spend time together talking, this might be a very bad sign that the relationship might already be over. When you are in a in an alive relationship, in a live re- in a relationship that is alive, that is healthy, or in a healthy marriage, you feel like sharing everything with your partner, talking about everything you with your partner. Remember the first stages of your relationship when you were on cloud nine in month three, for example, or in month two, or in, in the first month. Didn't you feel like that you wanted to tell everything to your partner? everything what happened to you in your day what happened at your job what happened with your children if you have any what happened with your friends what did you eat what would what are you doing where you are what's wrong what's going on with you you want to share everybody because you love the other person because you feel like you want to connect more lack of communication is a strong indication that the, the relationship is over and yes many people find themselves living in long finished and long dead relationships because they are used to it or because they have a need they might need to share the their housing with somebody else they might have emotional needs to feel stability that they live with a partner that they've been together for a long time they might stay in a relationship because of the children if there are any and so on but lack of communication is a strong indicator of a dead relationship Another indicator is the feelings we have about each other. If you are in a relationship, in a long-term romantic relationship or in a marriage, and you do not have any positive feelings for your partner, this is a very bad sign. If you have positive feelings and also negative feelings, this shows an alive relationship because people who are together sometimes they are happy with each other sometimes they are unhappy with each other sometimes they have some problems sometimes they are okay so it's okay for this moment to be happy with your partner and the other moment to be angry with him or with her for something he did or she didn't do etc but feeling only negative feelings and most importantly feeling apathy towards your partner if you don't care about what happens to him or to her, if you don't have any empathy, the opposite of empathy is apathy. If you don't feel sorry for them when they are sad, if you don't feel happy for them when they are happy, if you don't feel um, that they are important people in your life that you want them to be happy, if you don't have any empathy towards them, this is another sign that the relationship might be finished. How do we check for sure? if our relationship is finished or not. We try to exercise these things, these things that I said earlier that are the the indicators of a dead relationship. We try to be intimate, can we? We try to communicate, can we? We try to show empathy towards our partner, can we do that? Are we able to do that? Or do we feel uh, appalled by touching the other person? of the other person touching us? Do we feel that we don't really want to say anything to the other person? Do we trust our wife, our husband, our partner, our domestic partner? Do we trust them? Do we trust them with our most intimate secrets? Do we trust them with our lives? Do we? Or do we feel, or might we feel that they are like enemies to us? Unfortunately, too many people nowadays live in the same house with their enemies, with people that do not love them, do not care about them, do not feel any empathy about them, they don't have any care. Everybody, every human being on this planet deserves to love and be loved. It's a huge blessing to be able to love and be able to be loved. If you find yourself in a relationship or a marriage that is long dead, that is already finished, please, please do the courageous thing. 
to say the truth. Dear, our relationship is finished. Should we face it? Should we do the petition for this divorce? Or should we split up, not stay in the same house? If you are not married, you don't need to have a petition for a divorce. Should we finish it? Should we tell ourselves the truth that this relationship is finished? Um, being a psychologist and working with couples and adults for, the, for, o- for over 20 years, many times I've seen people uh, having the realization that their relationship is over and feeling overwhelmed, feeling that this is a very difficult thing, this is something very bad, that this is one of the most difficult times in their lives. They might mourn for losing the relationship, for the loss of the relationship, for the end of the marriage. They might feel that there is no hope beneath that. But believe me, I've seen the same people after uh, the mourning process, which follows a breakup, which follows the um, acceptance that the relationship or a marriage is finished. I've seen people to go back to their own selves, to be happy again, to be smiling again, and to have uh, motivation for life. Living in dead relationships, living in dead marriages, takes away joy from us, takes away serenity, takes away our mental stability, affects our health. Please ask yourself, is my relationship alive or is it dead? And in order to be sure that you have the correct answer for your relationship, you might also want to, co- want to consider to consult a therapist, a psychologist or a family therapist who is more um, um, uh, educated than you to help you uh, answer this question. Is my relationship finished? Is my marriage finished? To those of you listening to this video, and answering, yes, my relationship is finished, yes, my marriage is finished, I wish you to have the courage to take the risk to live your life. Because staying in a dead relationship or a dead marriage means that you do not allow yourself to live your life. I wish you a lovely weekend, everybody. Bye. See you next Friday. If you liked my video, please share it with your friends. Bye.